Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren Merritt, and this is your weekly weather briefing for the week of Thursday, June 22nd. So today's briefing will touch on the widespread rainfall that we've had over the past few days. Then I'll go into an update on Tropical Storm Cindy and into the current conditions and a forecast. Then we'll talk about the showers and isolated to scattered thunderstorms that we could see this afternoon and tonight. Then we'll talk about late Friday into Friday nights, potential for severe weather due to the remains of Tropical Storm Cindy. And then on Saturday, we'll have a front pass through and it'll continue on Sunday, bringing drier and cooler weather to the area. So, just how much rain has fallen over these past few days? The image on the left-hand side is from Tuesday's rainfall, ending at 10 p.m. on Tuesday, June 20th. As you can see, we had generally, you know, like one to four inches or so, but in some locations we had upwards of six, seven, and almost eight inches. On the right-hand side, we're looking back at the past 48 hours, ending at 8 a.m. today, and for some areas inside the perimeter in Atlanta, we had upwards of four to six inches. On the left-hand side here, we have the 8 a.m. update from Tropical Storm Cindy, its current position as of 8 a.m. this morning. And then we can see the track over the next three days. It's always important to remember, though, that impacts from a tropical system can be felt far beyond its cone. And also, make sure to stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center's website to get the latest updates on Tropical Storm Cindy. So this slide just shows the current conditions. If we take a look at Georgia, the main thing we have going on now is the continued showers in the northern portions of the state. And those will continue to push northward as we get some of the rain bands from Tropical Storm Cindy pushing into our area as well. So here we have our satellite imagery on the right hand side. This is water vapor, so we can see the moist areas in white and blue in the deeper blues, and the drier areas in the brown and orange shades. We can see Tropical Storm Cindy farther to our west, and we can see that surge of moisture continuing into our area. On the left hand side, we have the current radar imagery, seeing those continued showers in the north and the rain bands in Alabama. On the right hand side, we have the warning and watch map. There are none for our area, and we are monitoring the potential for any type of flood threat from Cindy as the days continue. Taking a look at our high temperatures for this afternoon on the left hand side, we see we have upper 70s in the north, and as you move further southward, getting into the mid 80s and even further south into the upper 80s. Looking at Friday afternoon on the right hand side, we're in the mid 80s and then getting into the upper 80s and lower 90s as you continue to look southward. Taking a look at our low temperatures for Friday morning, most of the area is in the low to mid 70s and then in the northeastern portion of the state we're in the upper 60s and in the 60s as well. Looking at Saturday morning in the mountainous regions we are in the upper 60s and for the rest of the state in the lower 70s. So now let's look at our rain and thunderstorm chances for today. On the left hand side in the darker green shaded over northern Georgia, that's where we're seeing some showers now and that's where the heaviest of the showers will continue. If we look at the right hand side, this is looking at this afternoon. Again, we have some of the heavier showers in the northern portions, but we do have chances for scattered and isolated thunderstorms across the majority of the state this afternoon. So now we'll take a look at our severe weather outlooks over the next two days. So now our severe weather outlook looking at Friday. On the left hand side we have the image from the Storm Prediction Center. And as you can see in the northern and northwestern portions of Georgia we do have a marginal and then a slight risk of seeing severe weather. The right hand side just shows the probability of seeing severe weather. But the main threats for this day is damaging winds, frequent lightning, and heavy rain and also brief tornadoes could be possible. And this will be late Friday into Friday night, and that's dealing with the remains of Tropical Storm Cindy. Taking a look at our chances for severe weather on Saturday, as I mentioned before, we have that cold front pushing from north to south on Saturday into Sunday, and with that, we do bring the isolated chance for severe storms. And as you can see, the highest threat is currently in portions of central and central eastern Georgia. Now let's take a look at the precipitation over the next few days. So now we have the rainfall forecast over the next three days. As we look at Thursday on the left, 
we have the highest amounts of rainfall forecasted for the northern portion of the state and we have about up to an inch looking at the image in the middle this is for friday again we have the highest amounts of rainfall forecasted for the northern and northwestern portion of the state as tropical storm cindy's remains pass by us and then looking at the right hand graphic on saturday that's showing the frontal passage pushing through from north to south and on saturday we should have our heaviest amounts of rain concentrated in central georgia i do want to note isolated higher amounts are expected in any pockets of heavy rainfall or with any heavy thunderstorms so now we'll take a look at the five day rainfall forecast Generally, totals are about a half an inch to two plus inches over the next five days. And as I mentioned before, locally higher amounts are expected in any heavier showers or strong thunderstorms. So with all the tropical moisture, we do have chances to see some excessive rainfall. The three images at the bottom looking from left to right show Thursday, today. The middle shows Friday, and then the right-hand side shows Saturday. We do have a slight chance of excessive rainfall on every day, just changing portions of the state. For Thursday and Friday, we're looking at the far northern and northwestern portions of the state. And for Saturday, as that front starts to come through and push through our area, we're looking at central Georgia. And this continuous rainfall and already saturated soils could definitely lead to an enhanced risk for flash flooding. So looking at the next seven days as far as temperatures, going from a top-down view of the state, we have North Georgia at the top. In the middle, we have the areas near Metro Atlanta, and at the bottom, we have Central Georgia. If you look back up at North Georgia, we're in the lower 80s through this weekend, and as we get into the beginning of next week, we're in the upper 70s and lower 80s with the lows in the mid-60s and upper 50s. Taking a look at the areas around Metro Atlanta, we kind of see the same thing. We've got some rain today and through the weekend. As you get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we will start to dry out with highs in the mid-80s and then lows in the mid-70s and upper to mid-60s. Looking at the bottom here for central Georgia, we have rain continuing a little bit further into Sunday and chances on Monday as well. But you do start to dry out on Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the low 90s and upper 80s and low temperatures in the mid 70s to mid to upper 60s. So I just want to quickly hit on the drought. Here on the left hand side we have our drought monitor back from Tuesday, June 20th. And on the right hand side we have the week before on June 13th. As you can see there has been little change in our area, some change in the southern portions of Georgia. But because we are not in level D2 drought or higher anywhere in our area, we will not be issuing drought information statements until we enter a severe drought or until they are deemed necessary. All right, so now a bit of a summary. We took a look at all the rainfall that we've had over the past few days at the beginning. We also looked at an update on Tropical Storm Cindy, which is bringing continued moisture to our area. Don't forget to check the National Hurricane Center's website for the latest information on Cindy. We looked at the chances this afternoon and tonight for isolated to scattered thunderstorms as well as showers. Then we took a look at Friday, late Friday into Friday night, the possibility for severe storms due to the remains of Tropical Storm Cindy. Then, as we get that front pushing through on Saturday and Sunday, we will have some drier weather for the beginning of next week. And overall, about one to two plus inches of rainfall is expected over the next few days with locally higher amounts definitely expected. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week.